Well, hey, welcome back. We're still on the Pridwin. As you can see, I'm here to talk to Elder Maxon. I've had a look inside, met everyone I need to, and, well, it's time to report in. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Uh... What sort of assignment are we talking about? The kind of assignment where all of the training you've done finally begins to pay off. Let's get right to it then, shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong, and it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Uh... Actually, yeah. Uh... What do these shells do? The Fat Man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload, in a man portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one of them, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Yeah, I've kind of already got a Merv one, so... But, yeah. Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now. We have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed, and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong, and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Get on that yes, gunship, sir. Soldier. I want Fort Strong cleared and that stockpile secure. Alrighty. Yeah, I've dealt with a lot of the super mutant suiciders. They literally just run up and football spike a nuke right at your feet. So, yeah, I don't like those. Uh, okay, Dance, let's, uh... Is it this one? Oh! Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance. Of the Welcome aboard, Knight. Enterprise for green, and we're cleared for release. We're getting shot at. Wow, I need some food and water real quick. Much better. Target okay, acquired. So. I'll try and keep him in your sights. Oh, oh. Oh, this weapon sucks. Primary target down. Look at that thing, please. I'm going to find a place. Ow. That hurt. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, you need stem packs. Lost the vertebird. Oh, oh, who is it? One more. Oh, we'll sneak around, get behind them. Any survivors? Paladin dance? Uh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna loot what I can. Okay, dance. Where are you? I'm overloaded, but I'm on my way. Oh, yeah, you're down. You okay? Ooh, right in the neck. You alright? Ooh. I'll take those. Oh, I didn't even look at any of the containers or anything. It might be around here. Uh. Ooh, can you carry stuff? Heads up. Where do you want me? I want you to be right there as a pack mule. Let's see what you've got. All right, I can move again. Let's get going. We need to get in here. All right, there we go. I'm doing a lot better. A noise? Oh. Quite a bit of trash to pick through here. Searching yeah. Through it could prove beneficial. What? Who's there? Oh. Uh. Stupid noises. Gah! Oh, wait. Mm. I hear something. Someone there. Oh, what is it? Ah! Dance! How did I miss at that range?
Okay, this just goes around. Slippery humans. Oh, that was not good. All right, let's just get in here and get rid of these guys. Watch your step. There's quite a bit of debris. This is getting messy. Sweet. Heard of breaching a door. This is a lot quieter. Yeah. Got it. Was that it? How do we get upstairs? like only place left to go is down I never could figure out how to get into the room with that fat man but you who dance you coming all right catch up here for a reason. Oh, let's find out why. Uh, and I have no more explosives. I don't think we're not getting past me. Whoa! You did get You did get past you. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Come on. Come on. Okay, time to break out the... Oh, he is tough. That was horrible. Uh, you okay, Dance? You took a lot of hits there. Uh, it might not all be done. Um, 
I don't see any nuclear weapons. I'm just seeing a whole bunch of nuclear weapons. Uh Ooh, it's parts. Am I going to get to build my own? That would be so cool. Uh Ooh, yeah, it's a stockpile. Uh This just yeah, this just goes down. Uh, uh, I think that's it. Uh, have we secured the facility? Oh, there you are. Hey. Excuse me, Paladin Vance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Well, yeah. I was just doing what Elder Maxon asked. No more, no less. Well, it's good to see you dealt with them the Brotherhood way. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, well. I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. All right. Oh, one thing. Paladin Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? I just want to trade a few things. Very well. Help yourself. And we're out, and the whole place is completely looted. With the exception of that one room that I can't get into. And, of course, some of the areas out here. I wonder if there's a way in on the roof. Huh. Oh, there's a little bit of stuff around out here. Went ahead and sorted through everything I had. I had a lot of stuff, just wasn't really worth it. There was an armor workbench, so I did break down a couple of armor pieces and things that weren't important. And I just ended up dropping a lot of the weapons. Uh, Paladin Dance has basically disappeared. I don't know where he went. I think he went back to the Pridwin, or he's doing something around here I'm not really sure all right I'm gonna go have a look at that but uh, I guess I'm walking back because there we go. I don't think they're gonna be sending another vertebrate to come pick me up so it's not really that far even looks like I might be able to cut across we'll figure it out well I did another quick walk through the town you know a little bit of junk but not really anything of value so I'm headed back and I don't have a jet pack. You know what? It's not that far. I think I'll just walk. Alright. Went ahead and decided to cross this little short spot here. Just to save a few minutes. 
And... Oh. Just have a look around in here while I'm at it. I'm pleased oh. we were assigned to the same team. I think we can learn a lot from each other. There you are. The Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. Alrighty. Dance. Ready to continue our mission, soldier? Uh. Ready. Roger that. Okay. Oh. This looks very. Uh. Okay. Uh, dance. You watch my back. I'll watch yours. I'll carry my stuff. You'll carry my stuff. Okay, spent a little bit of the day. Did a little bit of work. Cleaned the place up. There's actually quite a bit to clean up. And, well, put in a nice little stopover point here. I could probably, you know, stay up on the Pridwin, things like that. But, uh, this is actually quite a convenient little spot. Well, needless to say, there are buses everywhere. So I drug up a bus. Found an old semi-trailer. I really like these. Got a little bit of setup there. This is still pretty much open. Did find an old gurney I threw in here. Eventually turn this into a little medic station, maybe. In case I don't want to go all the way up to see the dock up in the Pridwin. Set up some beds and some things in here. And, uh... I myself got a little bit of a night's sleep, and uh, Pallet and Dance is still checking the place out, so uh, we got a nice little stop over here. Don't have a lot of amenities yet, but we'll get that. In the meantime, come on Dance, time to head back up to the Prid one. I'm carrying a lot, Dance is carrying a lot, and I plan to sell a lot of this. Greetings. Cleaner shot, and it leaves that memorable ozone smell behind. Yeah, miniguns really aren't that good, are they? Uh, the Pridwin is amazing, isn't it? A triumph of Brotherhood engineering. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to think that this was built during these times. Now. Nothing. I never really did have a look around in here. I guess I should have done that. Um, but, oh yeah, I spoke to Dance. He gave me the lowdown on it. I you guess... Got a new assignment. Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field scribes. Prestigious. Beats guard duty. Why? What'd you get? Vanguard. You're kidding. Dipping out into the next rotation. I'll try to leave a couple of super mutants for you. Thank you. Um, all right. Got a little bit of extra stuff. Um, let's head on up to the Pridwin dance. Oh, and here we are. Greetings. Nothing to report right now, Knight. Good. Boring is good. Uh, greetings, greetings, coming through. Um, oh, let me let them know. Hello. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudwood. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location, and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. Oh. Too bad it wasn't the Institute. Not to worry, Knight. 
you'll be dealing with them sooner than you think. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Ooh. Um. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now. I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. Our latest intelligence tells us you've infiltrated the Institute and liberated a valuable holotape from their facility. I'm quite disappointed you chose to build the signal interceptor without the Brotherhood Knight. However, you've secured passage to and from their facility, which was one of our primary goals. So, I'm willing to overlook your lapse in judgment. Since you've unexpectedly accelerated our plans, I now have two missions for you to complete. First and foremost, I want you to bring that holotape to Proctor Ingram right away. There could be data vital to the success of our mission on that tape, so we can't afford to take any chances. The second part of your mission requires a bit of... background to explain. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. Yeah, I've met her. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on, and it needs her attention. Okay. I hope this is worth it. If everything goes according to our plans, this mission will place us squarely on the road to victory. Just keep your mind on the mission, and don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck, Knight. Thank you. Um, hmm. Reactor at 100% efficiency. Well, first of all, we need to get rid of a lot of this stuff. I'm like probably two ounces from overloaded. Alright, uh, I really need to look this place over. Uh, it sounds like we owe you our gratitude for wiping out those monsters at Fort Strong. Now, did you have any documents for me? I think or perhaps you were interested in aiding a research patrol. I'm um, just checking to see. I think I do have documents. I found some technical documents for you. And they're in wonderful condition as well. Excellent work. Here are the caps that I promised. Remember, the Commonwealth is an almost unlimited source for these technical documents. Check it. I will check. Um, I don't think I really need the don't doctor. Don't let those scientists talk you into doing something stupid. The Institute is a fool's paradise. Put two in the head and they'll stay dead. Uh, Advice to live by. All right, uh, dance. Let's go sell some stuff. Maxon's age. He's a brilliant tactician. Proctor Teagan. Oh, the Brotherhood's got a lifetime supply of nuclear ordnance thanks to you. I expect you could use a resupply after a scrap like that. Both get and give supplies. Let me see what you have. Got some choice weapons that just came in. I'd just leave that if I were you. Actually, no. Some of this is really valuable, useful stuff. Um. Well. Um.
You know what, Dance? You could just hang out right here for a moment. I think I'm gonna have oh, a look man. around. If I'm and... late for muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. Oh. Well, Dance, I, I think I'm gonna, you know, have a look around and, uh, you know, evaluate, you know, supply possibilities. So, uh, yeah, you just hang out there. All right, did a complete run around the place. Found weapons, found ammo, found a lot of junk. Scrapped all the weapons and armor. Sold all the ammo. Carrying a lot of the junk. But we're full. And at this point, Dance and I are going to go ahead... Uh oh missed a little bit. Uh, Dance and I are going to go ahead and... Head downstairs. Engine turbines at 87% efficiency. Mind if I have this? We're gonna head downstairs. pressure. They drop all this stuff off. To me, down in the airport. Okay, well, Dance, we're in power armor, so, I mean, we could take a vertebrae down, but honestly. Yeah, that's faster. Okay, Dance, hey, uh, buddy, uh... Um, I kind of got a couple things I need to do. Uh, how about, you know, you just kind of hang out here for a while. Keep an eye on this place. I'll send a provisioner. We'll have you get supplies and everything. Um, plus Brotherhood's here and all. You can, you know, just uh, hang out for a little while, okay? Look alive. Go ahead. Paladin. What's up? Dance. I think it's time for you to leave. I'm not going to lie to you. I think this is a foolish decision, but it's yours to make. Come back alive, soldier. Okay, now that I know Dance is going to hang out here and I can get out of earshot. All right, here's the deal. Look, um, you know, I thought they might be okay. I thought, you know they're kind of sort of racist and all they don't like ghouls they hate ferals and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't like even the you know normal acting ghouls they hate super mutants and I really doubt they'd accept strong and they'd probably kill Virgil on sight too you know they definitely wouldn't like Nick even though he is not part of the Institute they definitely would probably you know dissect any of the humanoid sense you know like they they would just cut up glory on the spot without even thinking twice about it uh, let me get a little farther away but then you know when Elder Maxon said that you know they kind of came into the capital wasteland and liberated it but then they stayed and this Madison Lee was kind of upset because well yeah they basically invaded and kept it and yeah that's not happening here in the commonwealth so as of this moment that's sort of the reason why I raided as much as I could out of the place the brotherhood are no longer a potential solution they're another problem a serious problem almost institute level problem and right now I'm seriously confused about the institute but I'm absolutely sure the Brotherhood are not the answer they are another problem to be dealt with so uh, it's not far to the castle but I think at this point my best bet 
is just a plain and simple get back to headquarters. I need to talk to Preston Garvey. Oh. Strong want to smash something. I'm always glad to see the sun come up one more time. So much walking. Want to do more fighting. Okay. I made it back to base. Talk to Preston Garvey. He, well, doesn't have any ideas except, as usual, there's another settlement that needs my help. Apparently, Outpost Zimonja, out in the middle of nowhere. Or Zimonia, or however it's pronounced. Yeah, they're having raider trouble. Again. And after checking, there's actually a lot of the settlements that are short on beds, need more food, things like that, increase in defense, so... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a route of all the settlements. Check them all out. Uh, I'm not going to take my power armor. I'm just going to, you know, go to every settlement, get them set up, make sure they're okay, and on the way, I'm going to swing by and actually talk to Sturgis because probably one of the first places I'm going to head is over to Sunshine Tidings Co-op and then do the route around through and around and eventually all the way back to here. So, well, let's get to it. All right, did the whole tour of all the places talk to Sturgis who had nothing to say but on the way I made it here to Tim Pines Bluff and it looks like well they had a bit of raider trouble they seem to take care of it quite well though uh, let me see who it is I need to find here and talk to oh it must be you hey we could really use your help Yes, I'm here to help. What's the problem? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies, threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Yeah, that's a pretty easy one. Let me have a look. Yeah, it's just right back at the satellite array. I can probably take care of that. First, though, I'm going to take care of you guys. Let's see what you need. Okay. I took care of the guys. On the and I got a little bit of junk on me, but... up here and then sneak in there nice and light get rid of the guys and let's go in here nothing much we'll just clear this place out again we've had to clear it out for Absolutely nothing. All your imagination. Make sure nobody's snuck in behind us.
Take some water. I'm actually a little thirsty. Alright. Let's see if we can get a drop on guys. Oh. Being worth taking. Calvin, we got up. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. <laughs> 